Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm going to bring a backpack. I, it has nothing to do with technology, but it's one of those things that you have to prepare yourself. So what you guys see is a sustain. Uh, it's basically a preparation bag. It's get out of Dodge City pretty much bag. So this is now it's the new norm. You know, every time you hear earthquakes, um, dis natural disasters happening, you probably want to prepare yourself and you don't know how to start. Maybe you could just look into buying something similar to this. So today we're going to look at this. And this is a great thing to have under your desk, either at work, at somewhere in your home. I mean, it could come in handy. Today, we're going to open it up and see what you get when you get this bag. All right. So right now, the price is a little high. It's on Amazon. I'm going to put the price in the description. But we're going to open every item that's in here, all right? One by one. And then we're going to display it and see what, what you get when you purchase this. Is. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is a good unboxing. If you guys can see it, the backpack itself is freaking awesome like the first of all first thing that you see in the top it's a zipper bag and it's a little long bag it's like a, it looks like a hiking bag so it's you know pretty much made for that and if you guys see in here there's a zipper and there's a couple whistles in here these are whistles you know i know you you know they 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 come in handy for those people that have, um were entrapped in an earthquake under the rubble if some sort of a noise was able to be um, captured, maybe some dogs could be finding them faster or, or some people. I mean, the, these noise whistles come in handy for those that are, you know, lost in the forest or somewhere. So good to have those. Put them back in here. Um, nothing in here. Empty these bags. These bags are empty here. Uh, pretty much that's the empty bag. I'm going to unlock this part of it. And pretty much open the back first see what's in here and this part right here is pretty neat look at this this is a first aid kid um 48 pieces of, of bandages and stuff like that so not bad see that 48 pieces we're gonna put this on the side um in the back there's a description of exactly what's included in here um pretty much swabs and, and bandages and stuff like that for emergency so we'll put this on the side now, these are pretty neat. Have you guys ever seen these? I'm going to open one. Um, it's, they're pretty much bowls. They're silicone bowls, and they could retain hot water. And they're flat right now. Actually, uh, there's two of them here. I'm not going to open them, but there's two of them. And they kind of... Let me... You know what? Let's open one up. And then we'll put them on zip like bag. So we're going to open one up so you guys can see how they look. If you guys see it, it's... These are made of silicone so they could sustain a lot of heat all right not to cook on them but pretty much to keep something hot in here and the way it works they become like a cereal bowl like that big you see that it's pretty neat i like that so you flatten them out put them back in the bag and you get two of them two of these retain water really good uh say you want to boil water you could boil water in here but not not directly to the fire um, what I've seen done is basically people heat up the rocks and they put in the rocks in the water and it boils the water. And this could retain the water and the hot of the, uh, the boiling water that is produced by the hot water. So not bad a way to clean, clarify some water, you know, look it up. There's a couple of features out there. Now, this is an unknown. So we're going to open it up. I think I know what it is, but, oh, shh. This is a flashlight, and if you guys can see it, it's not ready to go, but the batteries are probably flipped down. And there's a couple of procedures. This, um, there, I don't know how many lumiums it has, but there's a big LED light in there. It's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's pretty powerful and bright. So we'll take a look at it later at night, see how well it works. So you get this one in a box, with a big old box in the back here. This box is a little heavy. I'm not sure what's in there, but we're going to open it up. Uh, it might be the food itself, so we're going to take a look at it and see if that's, that is the food. Uh, because it gave you supplies. It, it feels like it's, it's water. It might be the water retaining in here. So we're going to take a look at it. See what you get. And yeah, it is the water. So they give you a couple of gallons, uh, maybe a gallon of water together. And this is um, 
five years um, life shelf water emergency water so it's good to keep water you get two of these you know and you could keep it for five years um, not bad um, close it up put this down <coughs> you get another box in here made in China and this <coughs> is a pretty neat thing there's a little stove if you guys see it I'm open it up here it's a little stove it looks like a little stove here uh, yeah oh no actually it's a lamp oh that is pretty neat it's a little lamp at the LED lights all around um, no batteries of course um, I'm not sure about waterproof because some of the stuff that's made in China it takes three triple-a batteries if you guys see it three triple-a batteries um, little neat little lamp I actually have something like this in a larger format but not bad little lamp in here goes back in the box um, now we're gonna continue ourselves to the outside bag and on the outside you get blanket emergency sustained emergency blankets you get one two and you also get oh look at this fire starter this is pretty much a flammable uh, parter that you put into uh, it for those weathers that are really hard to get a fire. This can actually start easier. It's a couple of uh, pieces of wood and um, mixed with some sort of petroleum or gas or something. So um, seen them start up pretty good. They sell them in block and box little blocks too that looks like ice cubes. There's another one. They give you two of them. Oh, look at this. They give you a fork and a fire starter. This is a fire starter and then they give you a little cutting edge so you can start the fire along with some string and they give you two sets of sporks half spoon and forks on the other end they give you two of them the uh, include with the string enough nylon this is pretty long this is actually a couple of feet long uh, fire starter and like I said a blade and nylon string not bad what else do you get in here that's pretty much it in there so now we work our way inside the backpack we're gonna work our way in the backpack first thing we see on the outside of the backpack is a body bath um, wipes so if you can't take a shower or a bath for a couple of days this would probably be a good thing to clean yourself and it uh, gives you instructions start with your hands foot legs and so forth that's one they give you um, this thing's a knife. This is actually a knife. They open it up. This is a, a little knife, a survivor knife. It's neon color, so you could be spotted from far, far away. Oh, real nice. They're nice. Oh, it's pretty sharp. I'm gonna actually use this to open the rest of the stuff. So, knife. We'll put it on the side. Uh, night sticks, night lights. Right here, they give you one, two, three, four, four, four light sticks. And that pretty much does it on the outside pockets. Now we're going to wor work our way inside the pockets. In the main chamber, actually. That's where we're going. And I like how everything's well secure on the backpack if you see it. Um, hopefully you could see all the angles. I'm trying to get you guys as much as I can. But we go to the main bag in here. Let me open it up all around. And inside the main bag, you get... Oh, these are straws. These are awesome little straws if you guys see them. I actually own a couple of them. Uh, these are survival straws. And they come with a pump too. So if you want to fill something, a contain, so a contain or something like that. So what it is, it's pretty much you set one in on the water. It could be stale water, dirty water, all sorts of stuff. There's a filter in here and I have to do is drink it through here. So this is one, you get one, you get two. And then let's move on. We'll move this to the side a little bit because we're going to talk about that one. You get the food source here. They give you a couple of weeks of food. Actually two or three days of food that's pretty much what it is for me mac and cheese and this has shelf life of uh how many years it doesn't say but it should tell you in the back sometimes and basically you just mesh with water on this and it's ready to go um quality foods wise company emergency premium food mac and cheese this is mac and cheese you get one you get two 
And then you get some stool here, um, rice stool, I guess, uh, gluten free. Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about gluten free during this time. So basically, just add water a certain area of the line. It tells you in here, and hot water ready to go. And if you don't have hot water, any kind of water, just let it retain. Teriyaki chicken and rice. That's pretty much what you get. So. Uh, instructions on in the back boil some water throw some water to the line retain the line this is the line wait for a couple minutes 12 to 15 minutes and it's ready to eat uh, not bad if you're going hiking if you want to take they actually sell these in the individuals packages too so if you don't want to get these kind of foods you could get your own i mean it's it's not a bad idea to to keep uh, keep something at least as an emergency ration just in case uh, remember, if a disaster happens, people are not going to get to you for a couple of days. It could be weeks. If you're going to look at the past, what happened to Katrina and other disasters, people were stranded in certain areas. So this would be a great thing to get out of Dodge and get your bag and, and just go somewhere or, or, or you could stay at your home. But just remember that not some people are not going to get to you for a couple of days. This could be something that you could sustain yourself. So not bad. And I, I would like to recommend this, something like this, not just to myself, but to everybody else out there that, you know, we live in the times that disasters happen and things are unknown for us and we cannot predict stuff. So it's not a bad thing to have these things. So I'm going to keep it closed. I'm going to put them on the side. There's a little extra bag in the back here of the backpack. If you guys see it. Nothing, 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 nothing in there. But you could add your own sugar spices in there and keep it there. Now we go to the main part. This is a really good thing to have too. So I'm going to show you guys. I actually know what it is. This is the thing I got confused because I thought it was a little, you know, it was part of the last thing I, I presented to you, the lamp. And I was like, man, this is too small to be that. But this is pretty neat. It's on one little stove and cup to holder and everything. Look at that. To cook your food, not bad. Cook your food, and then to drink your 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 hot coffee, whatever it is, you know. And it's all simple, basic, ready to go. Um, your little stove, your little you can use that to cook, heat up some water. Like I said, this is actually another piece of it, and this is part of that. And this is the the actual stand for the cooking. I'm going to show you. It's a little heavy duty. and It's heavy duty, but it's in there. You guys can see it. Now, I'm not going to put it together, but if you guys can see it, you basically add, add the towers. You add the towers, four towers, like they're all separate, separate pieces, and you add the top of it, and then you just put in pieces of wood underneath of it, and this sits on the top of it. And it's like it's it's like a little tower if you guys can see it and it starts cooking it so this is really simple easy um after you use it you could reuse it again and you could put some rubber bands over it and um place it in place but today it's brand new i'm not gonna open it i'm gonna keep this for emergencies um it's not a bad thing to have for any pe anybody that wants to get something like this so this is all included in the package that you that you see here it's not a bad thing. So we're not just going to talk about technology here, but we're also about other stuff that has something to do with your family and protecting yourself and protecting the people that you love. So this is not a bad idea to have these kind of equipment. Um, you don't have to in particular buy this, this backpack that comes equipped with all this, all this stuff, but you could create your own by collecting these pieces similar that you see here. Um, in fact, I have three bags similar to this that I have created on my own. Uh, actually, when, if you go to Walmart or, or, or Target, they do sell the rations, the food rations under the camping area. And you can just start buying them and maybe marking some dates to get rid of them or eat them before they go, go bad. Um, replace them. Uh, like I said, the water every five years, the food maybe every two years, depending on the rations that you get. Uh, there's other things that you could add yourself to here that's not included. You could add your own your own tools, your own stuff. You know, uh, one thing that's not included in here is gloves. So that's something that I want to include in here. Some people add hard hats, um, yellow vest, and other stuff like that. Uh, this is probably just good for one person. Uh, if you have a family, you want to include more food. On the same thing, you could use you know just more food to it. Uh, other than that. If you have any questions or any comments, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, out.